Alvin Bidi was no match in the State House Junior Chess Tournament, the fifth leg of the 2018 Mini Chess Series. Bidi won the under-18 years boys category ahead of Brian Irungu and Aguda Luanga, who are second and third respectively. Naya Gosrani won the girls title after beating Lily Sheila and Edna Wangari, who settled for the silver and bronze medals. Robert McLeagueo and Nima Irungu did the same in the under-14 years category. McLeagueo stand Dongo Luanga who settled for second position while Nema was too good for Joan Zomo. The under 12 years category was won by Rian Gosrani and Sifa Kagondu. Henta Shah and Erika Mumbi won the under 10 years category, while Taji Abel and Janville Nepal Shah won the under 8 years category. Chess is actually, it doesn't really have the negative side. For the, for the learners, it is having positive side because it helps the learner to think, have creative thinking, and also learn of patience, and that has really promoted in, in terms of discipline in our school. The tournament was graced by Grandmaster David Smadden from Australia, who was impressed with the talent on show. Two things that I've noticed. The first is that kids of all ages, even the ones who only learned to play a few weeks ago, are really passionate about the game, and they're playing with a lot of confidence. Actually, I find that Kenyans... Kenyans have a lot more confidence playing chess than I've noticed in Europe. Europeans, they seem to be a lot more cautious. So that's a very impressive trait in itself. But uh, looking at the top level, I've noticed that there's a, a fair bit of raw talent, particularly uh, tactically, which is one of the main sort of natural gifts you need as a chess player. Smadon, who will play a simultaneous exhibition match in Nairobi, believes with availability of equipment, Kenya can produce a grandmaster because of the hunger witnessed among the junior players. The level of resources and support is a lot less than what we have in my country and also I spent a lot of time in Europe and the US and the UK. I can see now that the kids here, they're at a disadvantage from the get-go, that's for sure. But on the other hand, uh, really the success that children have is a lot more dependent on the people they've got around them, the teachers, the parents, uh, the chess community. So. That's the part that I think has impressed me the most. The, the human spirit and the passion here has been really impressive. And because we have the internet these days, it's a lot easier as well for people to learn chess on the other side of the world, no matter what country you're in. So I think that there are good chances for Kenyan chess to improve in the future. The next leg of the series will be held at the All Saints Primary in Madaraka on the 21st of July.